Greenfield. Campuses for ITT Tech are closed across the country tonight, and that includes six campuses here in Indiana. Eyewitness News reporter Bruce Cobb joins us now with what's next for thousands of students involved. Bruce? John, here at this location on the northwest side, the doors were locked, the parking lots were empty, except for those who came here looking for answers. The students waiting outside the campus near 96th and Michigan Road expected to be in class today. I was upset. You know, the first thing I did was drive down here to see if somebody was here to talk to us. Venice Roberts is one of several nursing students just 12 weeks away from earning her degree. Nobody was here to answer questions. I called the ITT headquarters in Carmel. Nobody was answering there. The phone was busy. Crystal Martin needs just one more semester to get her nursing degree. When she checked with other schools to see if they would accept her credits, she was told she would likely have to start over. So to stay in school for another two years, the struggle of paying for it and paying bills at home also, it's a lot and they owe us answers and we don't have any. The Carmel headquarters was closed today, but in a statement, ITT Tech said it was with profound regret that it was ceasing operations after nearly 50 years of continuous service. The college says the shutdown was forced on them by the U.S. Department of Education, which has been cracking down on the practices of for-profit colleges. The shutdown closes 130 campuses in 38 states, affecting 40,000 students. Two years ago, there were 12,000 ITT Tech students in Indiana. As of today, fewer than 2,000 were enrolled. It's disturbing, it's concerning, but I was not surprised with today's announcement. Commissioner Teresa Lubber says it's unclear how current students will be able to complete their studies and earn a degree. So I hope there won't be students who are two or three years into a degree who lose everything. Hopefully we'll find some partners who can uh, look at their credits and find some validity to the credits they've received and accept those. But I can't say any of that with certainty today. Up until today, ITT offered classes in nursing, business, electronics, and information technology. Now, there is some encouraging news that came in late today from the uh, Commission for Higher Education. It has heard from both Indiana Wesleyan University and WGU Indiana. They have expressed their willingness to help these ITT students continue their educations. Angela, back to you.